Hi everyone, Bitcoin Dada took an exciting trip to Kibwezi at a gridless mining site where innovation meets sustainability. On our way to the gridless site, we passed endless fields of sisal, literally stretching as far as the eye can see. Did you know sisal takes about three to seven years to mature? And get this, they've got 10,000 hectares of wheat planted here. That's a whole lot of green gold powering this innovation. The so Dada's pulled up to the gridless mining site excited to dive in and see it all up close. Let's go daughters! <laughs> safety first, so we suited up, got into our safety gear, reflectors on, mask up because the place was dusty. You know, we have to stay protected before we step into the heart of the operation. The machines, the energy, the innovation, all of it. We have the size of factory, that side. We have the biomass, energy plant. We have small structure on the other side. This one is the newest part of them all. Started operations last year, around the September. September is in operations. Before diving in, our guide, the operation leads at the Bitcoin mining site, gave us a lowdown of everything happening there, from how they harness biomass energy from Sisol to power Bitcoin mining to the impact this technology is having on the local community. This was next level innovation. So you're, pro you're producing one point? One point two at the moment, but we can do one point seven. You are still in the commissioning phase, uh, not uh, not as we done. There are some few challenges here and there. Uh, in the next uh, couple of uh, weeks, we expect to be able to do 1.7, 1.7, 1.7. Now, this the, is far. Uh, this is far. Yeah. 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 No, no. Uh, per hour. Per day, we are able to produce around uh, 30,000 dollars. Um, now the the the, the biomass uh, plant there is basically a boiler which uh, boils water mm -hmm. to superheated steam. The superheated steam runs a turbine. The turbine produces runs an alternator. The alternator produces. And then uh, we have a distribution system. Uh, our own use, which is called the home load or parasitic load. Uh, about 15% uh, of what we produce, then whatever is uh, above that is uh, sent to the factory. We give, we give the factory the first priority, then the cost of less than second. The reason for this is um, the biomass plant. Its initial um, its initial intention was to reduce cost of power, which we've actually done. Mm -hmm to the factory but our consumption is erratic one moment we are very high because of the machines that we are using the other the next moment we are low uh, and especially between the four in the morning and the six in the morning we are running nothing except uh, powering the estate for the staff and so at that particular time uh, you do not need this and that is how green the skin is so that it can take power when we are not when we are not yes. using so the, the, the way the system works is that uh, if, say, for example, between 4 and uh, our set point is uh, 1.2 megawatts, if between 4 and uh, 6 in the morning when the machines come online, we are consuming about uh, 70 kilowatts of electricity maybe for lighting purposes only, greenness takes the rest. Guide from Gridless give us a brief overview of the plant and what happens outside it. One of the most interesting parts, seeing the dried up sisal. The fibers had already been processed, leaving behind this dry biomass which they used to generate electricity. It was crazy to think that what's usually considered waste was actually powering Bitcoin mining. How cool!
We then got to the real action as we walked through the factory. We got to see the different processes in action. There were hot steam pipes hissing, valves turning, and regulators controlling the flow of energy. It was amazing to see how everything worked together to generate power from Sisol. The scale of the operation was truly impressive. Men at work, we came across some engineers working, making sure everything was running smoothly. It was great to see the team in action, fine tuning the technology that keeps this whole operation going. to the control room where we got to see the heart of the operation there were power switches everywhere each controlling a critical part of the system we saw the cooling tower panel boiler and plc panels and even the turbine control panel this is where everything was monitored and adjusted to keep the power flowing smoothly it was incredible to see how precise and efficient the whole setup was This is where all the magic happened. What's even more exciting, the extra power they produce does not go to waste. It goes straight into Bitcoin mining. The dadas were absolutely enjoying this visit, despite the heat within the plant. Oh my goodness. Right outside the Bitcoin miners, we got a briefing on how they receive power and keep the machines running. The electricity generated from the biomass flows directly into these miners, giving them the energy they need to process transactions and secure the Bitcoin network. The session also covered mining equipment, including the differences between ASICs and GPUs, and the girls got to learn about the facility's impressive use of renewable energy like biomass to supply to the community. We saw firsthand how the facility acts as a guardian of the grid for renewable energy producers. By consuming more energy when demand is lower, the facility helps balance out fluctuations and creates a more reliable power system for everyone. Hear that? That is the sweet, sweet sound of Satoshi's. When we stepped into this room with miners, they were running non-stop and the fans were on full speed, keeping everything cool as they crunched numbers and secured the Bitcoin network. The dadas were keenly examining the miners, getting a real feel for how this technology works. The heat, the noise, the sheer power of these machines. It was incredible to witness firsthand. We really thank Gridless for making this possible. What an incredible experience! We truly enjoyed this tour and learned so much about how biomass energy is transforming Bitcoin mining. A huge thank you to Marcel Lorraine, the founder of Bitcoin Dada, for making this possible and to the amazing BTC Dada team for sharing this journey with us. And of course, a big shout out to the Gridless team for hosting us and showing us firsthand how innovation and sustainability come together. 
this was an unforgettable experience until next time ciao i think that right now we can understand that we have uh, we can outsource electricity or power from a different source that is not mainly high so um and that I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much and we're look, we looking forward to coming back again with the next cohort and several other cohorts. Sure.